Hunter Biden, the son of President Joe Biden, was found guilty of three felony charges stemming from his purchase of a handgun back in 2018. Hunter Biden, as you know, is the first child of a sitting U.S. president ever to be convicted in a criminal trial. The U.S. president had said last week that he would not pardon his son. But Hunter faces a maximum prison sentence of 25 years, but is much more likely to receive two years or less or even no prison time at all because he is a first-time offender and the crimes involved only a single gun that was never used violently. The judge who oversaw the trial will determine the sentence. She actually said she expects to conduct sentencing in about four months. We have a reaction from Delaware's U.S. attorney lined up for you, followed by our Washington, D.C. correspondent, Benji Hyle's report from Ground Zero. This case was about the illegal choices defendant made while in the throes of addiction, his choice to lie on a government form when he bought a gun and the choice to then possess that gun. It was these choices and the combination of guns and drugs that made his conduct dangerous. Second, no one in this country is above the law. Everyone must be accountable for their actions, even this defendant. However, Hunter Biden should be no more accountable than any other citizen convicted of this same conduct. So this here is the jury verdict form, and it reads guilty on all counts, buying and possessing a firearm whilst addicted to an illegal substance. The president has responded immediately. Joe Biden says he'll accept the outcome of this case and continue to respect the judicial process as Hunter considers an appeal. This conviction, the first for the offspring of a sitting U.S. president, is perhaps the strongest evidence yet that the system isn't rigged against just Donald Trump, as he so often claims, that haven't stopped him, though, from insisting that the Biden family is a criminal empire, which is all coming to an end, he says, on November 5th. How, though, might this affect the election? Well, one of the jurors on the trial insists that no politics came into play. And, of course, it's Joe Biden running for the presidency, not his son. So this is unlikely to alter the polls dramatically. In fact, drug addiction and the consequences of it have touched many American lives and this might garner some sympathy for Hunter. Still, the prosecution for this case insists this is not about addiction, but about the illegal choices the defendant made whilst in the throes of addiction. And this isn't the end of Hunter's legal dilemmas either. He, of course, awaits a sentencing, and then he faces another trial in September on tax charges. He's also in the crosshairs of high-ranking Republican Party lawmakers who are investigating his business dealings. Benji Heyer, NDTV, Washington.